We're going to demonstrate some of the new functionality in inroads with the select series release. What we have here are some horizontal alignments that are displayed and we'll just zoom in and get a little bit closer here. And typical workflow in uh, inroads traditionally has been to display your alignment, um, annotate it for uh, curve information and tangent uh, bearing and distance as well as stationing. If the alignment was modified that um, annotation would disappear because it's out of sync and then you have to do those two re-annotation steps. With the select series release we have some options here to instruct inroads to make that annotation persistent. Um, and if we want to start with stationing we can turn that on as well as curve sets and tangents. And let's just see how that comes into play. When I apply and close we don't see any changes but if I redisplay or delete and redisplay the horizontal alignment it automatically displays with stationing, curve information, and the bearing distance on tangents as well. Now if I go to modify that curve, and we'll just come up here and uh, just you know put in some other different radius here in the table editor. The alignment has been modified, the radius is annotation obviously is updated as well as any bearing distance information. So that's true if we modify the alignment or if we make a change to the alignment um, as far as stationing goes. I'll just add a new station equation in here. We're going to see the same result there. Just pick a uh, location here and I'll set a head as 450 plus 00. Apply close and close and the alignment automatically annotates. Now there's a little bit of a trick to that. The geometry style you assign to the alignment, there also has to be a saved preference in the commands that you want to use. For instance, uh, display stationing um, and horizontal annotation. So it's all tied to the style assigned to the geometry. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit our website envisioncad.com.